Hello, it's me. It's been a while. I'm sorry. How have you been? My cat is here. She's doing well. Jing, wanna say anything? Yeah! <laughs> cat? As I was saying, Ting is doing very well. She had an ear infection during the spring, but it's all gone now, so she's living her best life. She has a little bit of a gummy eye, but we don't judge her for that. How have I been? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, had some ups and downs, definitely. I was banned from Hidden Devs. Shout out to that. Um, <laughs> the reason is really funny. I showed a picture of my knee and they said it was NSFW. <laughs> my Discord account was also terminated. I'm working on getting that fixed. I promise I'll be back. You can't get rid of me. My Instagram has been at the same amount of followers for like the past two years, so that's also good. Art is coming soon, I swear. And I'm working on another showcase for Roblox. It will be coming out within a month, I promise. Ooh, hello. I also have a spot on my chin, which is why it looks bright red in the camera. That's the spot navy. The biggest piece of news is that I bought the Royal High doll. Everyone's gonna hate me for this, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for you guys. I'm not. Please don't hate me. Look. I'm not gonna explain why people hate it in this video, because I don't like politics. <laughs> and not liking politics is the reason why I bought the doll. I just wanna play the damn game. So, I'm gonna show you the doll. I bought it so you guys don't have to. Ting, are you excited? Yeah! Let me go get the box. One sec, one sec. Don't look at my box. Here it is. It's really cute. Look, it's got royal height on the box, like all over it. Look at all this personal information that I'm going to have to blur out. I didn't think about getting something sharp to open it with. Okay, I'm here. I got this thing. This is, um, I, I used to do like, um, scratching art with it. Like, um, you'd like scratch off the black surface and the shiny stuff. I, I don't want to explain. But basically, I'm opening it. It's pink. Oh gosh. Oh no. Here she is. Oh, my family are very disappointed in me. My dad got the door for this. I play royal high because my life is a royal low. Alright, we don't need this box anymore, so that can just... For a moment I thought I hit the cat, but it's fine. I'm not a lunacy. I'm kind of scared to open it, just because I know that these things lose value when you open them. And I'm not gonna play with this thing. Look at it. How do I get the code? I think that there is the code, but I have to, you know, break in to get it. How do I open this thing? I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god, there's even more I have to crack up. Mm. Mm. <sighs> She's a lot bigger than I realized. How many inches is it? It was like 13 inches or something. And I was like, 13 inches? That's not actually that big. <laughs> you have a comb. Beautiful little comb. Can, can I help you? Would you like to try out the comb? Aww, you like it? Does it make you happy? Yeah! I think we'll keep the comb because the cat likes it. I've been having a really difficult time lately. And this cat has been helping me. This is the sword. What do you think of it, cat? Oh my god, they've tied down her arms and her hands and everything. Ugh, her hair feels... You know, we'll get to her hair in a moment. Ow! So I lost a bunch of footage while trying to break this thing out, but she's out now. And here she is. First impressions, the quality is quite good. There are some things that are a little bit strange, like um, the hair is really clumpy at the bottom. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I've never played with like Barbie dolls and stuff, so I don't know if this is normal or not, but it will need to be brushed out. <laughs> and I have tried brushing it out. However, this cheap plastic comb just does not do the trick. Another weird thing, is that this feels a lot like human hair. It is incredibly fine. It doesn't feel plasticky at all. And when I look at it in light, it has like imperfections and speckles and things that you find in human hair. I'm definitely smelling like strawberry and stuff. Apparently this thing is sp supposed to smell like vanilla. Um, I don't smell vanilla. I just smell plastic. But the hair smells like strawberries. She does come with wings, but I'm not getting them out. 
because they are under the plastic, I want to keep the packaging as intact as possible. That's what the wings look like. They're rainbowy, they're fabricy, they look like they've got silk, um, and they attach onto the back, obviously. Very few people actually bought this doll for the toy. They bought it for the virtual coat. Um, same as me, so I'm putting this thing away. So I'm going to redeem the code and then I'll get back to you. I made a very big mistake. I used the scratchy thing to scratch out the code and I completely scratched off the end of it. This is so embarrassing. I might actually have to contact Royal High Support. Hey, Royal High. My Valk doll arrived today and she's lovely. One problem though. I may or may not have scratched the code to death. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All I can really do now is wait. <laughs> Hi, okay, I'm back. Sorry for the change of clothes. I'm in my pajamas now. Royal High have not responded, but guess who have responded? Jazzwares. I didn't record it because I kind of did it an hour later after realizing contacting Royal High was really stupid. This super duper lovely person emailed me another code. But yeah, I'll show you it and hopefully I'll be able to see myself. Okay, here we are. We're trying out the code. Oh my god, please work. <gasps> Yay! I don't actually know how to get this set. I think what happens is once you have the wings, you're just kind of automatically given the set. And here it is. Congratulations, you redeemed the code from Lumina to the Valkyrie doll. Show her thanks, she is bestowing upon you these blessed items. One thing I have noticed while using this outfit is that people do walk up to me and usually they'll do one of two things. They'll be really really happy for me or they will be the woke teenage girls on Twitter that will say that I'm supporting child genocide. It is kind of annoying that I'm minding my own business, enjoying the game, and I'm being approached by these people who are just kind of hating on me. I understand and I have sympathy, honestly, for people that don't like that Jazzwares supports Israel. They don't like it and that's okay. But I do feel that if you don't like that, your hatred and your anger should be directed towards them. Change their ways, educate them. Me, a consumer, I just don't think it's fair. I think that we all have a right to enjoy ourselves. Some of us have a lot going on in our lives and just being able to play a game and feel happy is really important. And yeah, I wish that more people could respect that. There are better ways to solve this problem, in my opinion. I've also noticed that people have been taking screenshots of people wearing the Valkyrie sets and posting them on Twitter and their journal, just trying to get people to target them or just know who they are, you know, make them infamous. And that really upsets me. It really does. It's kind of the whole reason I made this video. I've just outed myself right now and I'm not afraid of that and you shouldn't be either if you have the Valkyrie doll. Again, um, Roblox Showcase coming soon. I'll keep you updated, I promise. And yeah, bye bye!